So I was in the middle of rolling this Tesla onto the U-Haul trailer and then out of nowhere the screen goes oh. Why did you do that? It died completely, the screen died Can you hit the brakes? Yeah, I'm hitting the brakes Anyway guys, so so guys this is probably one of the worst case scenario when it comes to electric vehicles. Uh, my wife is currently stuck somewhere out of the picker because the vehicle died on her. So we wanna go out there see if we can rescue her. It's about a 30, 30 minutes drive. Uh, probably gonna try to borrow a trader from my neighbor. If if he says no, then we're gonna have to go get one from U-Haul. This is absolutely stupid. I don't know why I bought this electric car anyway, guys. But let's go get the car and see if we can help her out. So now, best case scenario, this vehicle is still drivable, and I can really, I can drive it onto the trailer. Worst case scenario, I have to load it up here with another winch so I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do that but I guess you guys are gonna have to hang around and see what comes up I haven't told this Tesla personally I've always hired a you a tow truck this shouldn't have happened because she was she had enough mileage to at least get up to the supercharge when she went down here on when she went down this way on Friday, she was she charged it exactly where she charged it. Uh, she was supposed to make it to exactly where she charged it last time, but I guess this this did not happen, guys. So we're gonna see where this car is at. The lens that you see Tesla advertise, I don't know whether you should trust it or not. It's a really nice day out here, which means that the weather the weather is nice. It's not cold and it's not too hot and she did not have the AC on which um, which means that it should have lasted enough to get to the supercharge so I don't know if you guys are planning on buying a Tesla for long distance travels I don't think you should from Kansas City to Wichita, it's not considered, it's not, it shouldn't be considered long distance travel for electric vehicles. And it did not tell her to stop at the supercharge in Embolia. So he told her that she will be getting to the next supercharge with 14% the charge. That's not the case guys, so that's why we are in the same situation we are at. So the U-Haul was about 60 bucks. Maybe I should send this bill to Elon Musk. A few moments later. Okay. I'm gonna pull it that way for a minute. And so once I start pulling, I want you to release the brakes. Yeah. So at this point guys everything was going just fine the car was roaring uh, onto the trailer okay I mean I had to move uh, back and forth and adjust the straps that I was using to um, roll this trailer these are really heavy duty straps I used them um, to transport my trailers from Texas Pride I know they, they could have done the job just fine I've used them before too on a project like this but then all of a sudden the car stopped moving that means it's out of tow mode no it's not let's cancel that put it back on Okay. Why is it not going up then? It was moving a little. 
So guys, the mistake I was doing over here is that every time we were trying to put this vehicle on tow mode, we were forgetting to hit the brakes after we click tow mode. That will display a blue screen uh, bar underneath there where you can actually hit it to put the vehicle on neutral. If you don't put the vehicle on neutral like we were doing here at this video, then the Tesla won't be on neutral, which means that as, as hard as I was trying to pull it, it wasn't going to neutral and it gave us a really hard time. So I kept going back and forth from the car to the rope which we were using to put the vehicle onto the trailer, but it was not doing anything. So that's when I came to realize that that was the mistake I was making, but it wasn't the only thing which happened that day because as soon as I realized what we were doing wrong, the car turned off guys. Continue watching until the end of this video to see how it turned up and how I was able to roll this car onto the trailer. Nope, bad idea. Why is it not rolling? It completely died. It did this randomly earlier, but it turned back on, but I think it was it wasn't dead dead, that's why. It cost sixty dollars. Why didn't you just want to get this towed? That's probably the question you guys are asking yourself. Why didn't I just get towed, right? So this is why. In the last one year, 12 months, I've got this car towed by my insurance a total of three times. If I get this to car towed by my insurance one more time, you never know what will happen next time I try to renew my insurance in six months, which might actually lead them to not insuring me anymore or either dropping me from the insurance. So that's the reason why I didn't call a tow truck. And since I was home, I wanted to go tow this vehicle myself. That way I don't have to file an insurance claim, which might cost me my insurance. Give it a try and see. I don't think it will freely move. No, it's not. Nope. Hi, girlies. Hi. Sit with them in here. I'm gonna think what to do now. So guys, if you get yourself in a situation like this with, uh, with a Tesla, your only option is to connect a jump start cable to the wires uh, light in the front in the front and then you need to jump start the low voltage battery and that's the only way you can be able to put the vehicle on neutral and guys remember this when you try to charge this car if it completely died with the screen off it uh, sometimes it might not charge even if you take it to um, a a charging station so the only option you have is to make sure that the low voltage battery has charged to it and that's the only way you can charge it so my only option was try to jump start the 12 voltage battery and that's what i decided to do in this situation so guys at this point uh there's two positive and negative wires which i like here where you hook up the tesla to the tow uh, cable and uh, when I was trying to uh, hook it up earlier I actually dropped or lost the two wires and so the only option I had was to fish those two wires from um, from that and then I'll use my jump start cables to try to open the frank that's the only way I can be able to open the frank because the car completely died so without those two wires I couldn't be able to so I decided to go in there with a wire thank god I have a work truck which has pretty much everything you will need to do this job 
So there's two wires there. There's a positive and a negative wire. All you need to do is to connect them to the jump start cable. And then that's gonna open the frank. You can literally use any kind of battery to do that, even if it's a um, double A or triple A, or even a, a watch battery, whichever has a little bit of power, it can open the frank of this car. So guys, at this point, I had to jump start the raw voltage battery and that's what the two, the wires to the Tesla are at this point. So it took me a little bit, uh, some time to get all that set, set up, most uh, 10 to 15 minutes because I had to find a second jump start cable to connect to the one I already had. So guys, this is what I can tell you about electric cars. Once they die, the battery completely dies. You don't have another option about from getting it towed to the supercharge. It's not like a, a gas powered car that you can actually go and get gas, put gas in the car and still keep driving. So it has been almost a year uh, and a half ever since I got this Tesla. It's the Tesla Model 3. And uh, the only issue I've had with it since I got it is I had to change the low voltage battery. So during uh, this entire process of rolling this car, I still got a text from Tesla saying that the low voltage battery is no good anymore. So I'm gonna be scheduling an appointment to get that changed. But guys, this entire process was really kind of frustrating to me, especially uh, with the with me, you know, sparing my time just to go pick up this car when uh, all, all we needed is to drive it, let's say, about 10 to 15 miles to the supercharge. Plus, um, the Teslas, when it comes to cold temperatures, this car will consume more energy, which means that if it gives you 200 miles, you're probably going to get about 150 miles, sometimes 120 miles. And also when it gets too hot outside to keep the battery's temperatures low, it also still uses electricity. So because of those two things and everything in this car is powered by the uh, high voltage battery, which is under the car, that drains the battery a little quicker than normal. So I'm going to be posting a video down on how I got this car home and some of the challenges I had to encounter during the drop. So guys, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel at Kansas City Hustle. And then we'll, I'll show you guys more about the Tesla car and how the off-roading and charging went. So it took me exactly almost an hour to get this this car rolled. I got it strapped down. I don't have anywhere back here on a Tesla to put the chain. I don't understand why, but this car doesn't have anywhere back here to put the safety chain because anything underneath is the car's battery. So that chain is not gonna go anywhere. So I'm just gonna be really careful because see that chain is supposed to hook onto something but this car doesn't have that where I can get it hooked up. So I guess that's it.